Hi guys, it's Mastraff here and welcome once again to Morford Battle. This time we're in season... What season are we in? Uh, June, July, August, September, October, November, December... Seven! That's what it is. Apologies, I have just finished work, so yeah. And it's half past ten at night, so lovely. Yes, yeah, so the review of season seven of Foot Battle. Uh, so kicking off with uh, some things that were added to the game. Um, nothing. Oh, nice note. I think they did a, a couple of maintenance jobs, but that's about it. Yeah, this has been a, a, a pretty downtime season, and you know, uh, a lot of Foot Battle season veterans have been clambering for the developers' heads. Print saying. What the hell is going on? There's still a massive issue in the game. Like, yeah, your players passing it around the back. Uh, well, not passing it around the back, but passing it around the sort of 18-yard box. Shooting going wide and still shock matches that shouldn't be happening. And we still really haven't gotten a response. Instead, they're more worried about their maintenance being 40% less cost effective or more cost effective fair enough i guess but what about these problems anyway so apart from that this is what we're looking like at the moment they still haven't sorted this out yet what what is why don't they just get rid of this or even just have it this color you know i mean okay fine but still Still here, this is. Anyway, so, look at our fans right now. Look at our squad overall. This is the, like, when it comes to fans, this is probably the best well-off we've looked this season. Um, is it because we won, like, so many trophies this season? Well, we'll find out later. So, let's have a look at the squad. This is the new squad for the moment. Uh, we've got some new players. Uh, we have, first off, kicking off with my goalkeeper. My new goalkeeper, Chen Wei, who is, yes, he's a pragmatist. I know, I, I can't resist just getting another pragmatist player. Uh, he's an optimist as well, so that's it's not a bad combination, I guess. Not a bad combination at all. Uh, I believe it was Jordan Stark and Michael Giles that I got last time around. So, we have two new players, and you may be wondering, what are these two new players? Why have you got a lot of points, and how did you get two new players? Well, I finally bit the bullet. And I bought these players with actual money. Don't worry, I didn't like spend like hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get these two players. If anything, I spent probably about four, 40 quid, I think. Four, 40 quid, I think, something like that, to buy these players. And that's to buy both of them at the same time. So about 20 each. I think one was 15, one was 25. First off, though, is Matthew Haney. Uh, who is an American striker with cold blood and optimist. Not a, not a bad little player altogether. And my right midfielder is Mario Vance, who I've sort of had my eye on for a while because, you know, he's ripped my team a new one every so often. Uh, he's also got cold blood and he's got cruel. So pretty all right together. But now I finally have a full legend team. Where do we go from here? Well, I'll tell you where we go. We go to improve the team more. Is that player still there? Yes, he is. So the player I'm after now is Nicholas Avery, who is just a stronger striker and someone that I can play at home um, against a team that's not uh, Terrera, Kirka, or Hardcore. We're still below those three. Um, but yeah, just an overall better player. We've been buying them. So at the moment, I'm thinking about getting a, uh, a, a a home legend team and an away legend team. I think that's the next step for the squad, for the squad's evolution right now. And uh, getting Nicholas Avery for the home team would be really nice. Plus, also, it took us seven months to get a full legend team. So maybe another seven months and well probably less than seven months actually probably about five five six months and we can get an away team as well an away legend team so all is good there <coughs> so just double checking i'm recording i am good 
So, uh, we've got our reserves here. So now we have a full um, elite reserve squad with 1442 overall. Pretty damn good. Uh, my third string side's up to 1340. Not bad. We now have no blue players or below in the team. They're all at least purples or higher. So that's pretty good. Again, I'm going to be slowly phasing these out for uh, either elites or legends. Um, but we'll just be pretty much improving this squad. And then the players that are removed from this squad because the other guy will be moved down to the next squad. Uh, but still, I do have two squads here. Uh, just the best in overall and season squad. Once I've got everything sorted, I will have an away squad and a home squad. And maybe I'll also have a squad of um, players to go up against play teams like Kirka and Hardcore. Who may have things like Glory Seeker, which is really bloody good. It's, you know, it's a really good trait. But it's one that I've avoided because my team's always been one of the best teams in the game. At least when it comes to fans. <coughs> so, with out of the way, um, first off, also, Happy New Year. And I hope you all enjoyed your, uh, your Christmas and your New Year. Mine was bloody loud and stressful. Because bar Christmas Day, that uh, the weekend between Christmas and New Year... And New Year's Day, I was working, so there you go. Anyway, so, to the season. How well did we do? We did get to the World Cup, so we did at least do okay in the Continental Cup, in the, uh, in the European Cup. So we did compete in all four tournaments. Place your bets now on how we did. Let's kick off with the National League. Well, exactly what I thought happened, happened. And we finished second. Uh, behind Hardcore, who didn't lose a match. <coughs> yeah, those two draws are us. Or those two losses, sorry. These two losses are us. Uh, versus Hardcore. Uh, then we drew a couple. They drew a couple as well. They drew against uh, Crypto Dad, which didn't even make it to the, Euro to the European Championships next season. Only they did. Which... Well, all in honest now, I was about to say completely avoids, um, or completely negates the whole sort of like, ooh, who won the National Cup then? But the National Cup, it's honest, it's obviously got to be one of these teams, hasn't it? You know, I mean, I highly doubt, like, you know, any of these teams are going to win it this season. Or maybe next season, unless they really pile money into this game. Um, then they're not going to do it. Maybe in a couple of years, because, for example, a team like A Truck TTV has had the highest position, third. So, fair play to them. Um, but you can see the big standout two teams here. You know, six points between first and second, and then between second and third, 15 points. So, this is really becoming... I know it says England A-League there, but this is becoming the Scottish League. You know, like, this is Celtic and Rangers right now. Your guess to who's who, I'd probably be Rangers, to be honest, because Hardcore's just dominating. Let's put it this way. Here is Hardcore's fan amount. They were able to beat us twice, and they sold players. They've actually sold some of their team. So, yeah, they still went on to beat us, and look at the squad difference, and we still lose to them. They lost, they lost three matches all season, but like, we lost 15. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get into some of those later. So, yeah, we finished second in the, uh, in the, in the National League, which is fine. It's what I thought was going to happen. You know, I, I wasn't expecting to beat Hardcore this season. I said, this is a transitionary period for the team. So, you know, I wasn't expecting to win the league this season. Next season, on the other hand, we're coming for you, Hardcore. We're coming to get you again. Anyway, the National Cup now. So, how do we do in the National Cup? Well, we kicked off with a 3-1 win over Brexit. Brexit have become a pretty decent team in this game. You know, fair play to them. They've been pretty good risers so far. Then we beat Roxification 3-2 in a very close uh, set of matches. Inspira was closer. This is a team that has not played a single match that hasn't been a tournament match in a whole month. We lost the first match 2-1 at home. 
We then went on to win 3-1 away in the return leg. And I'm there going, oh, no, in Spira deserved to win that match, if anything. Deserved to go through to the finals. We didn't because we lost our home match and then they wanted to lose their home match. So I guess it's the swings and roundabouts. And we went up to face Hardcore and lost. Twice. Again. So again, Hardcore getting a lot of fans off us this season. Just like they did last season. But we are improving. Hardcore wins again. That's annoying. But... Again, transitionary period, the team is getting much stronger, and next year we're just contending to win everything. We, we have the team to do it now. Th this is the team to do it. Right, so let's move on to the Continental Cup. The, uh, the uh, European Cup. How well did we do here? So I was predicting semi-finals. Well, it started out alright. You know, I mean, we, we won our group. By the way, Terrera who have become an absolute beast in the game. Look at, look at that over, look at those fans! And they, they do have a full team of legends, so that, that's not their main overall. They've got an over 1700 overall. They are absolute monsters now. Um, anyway, so we did finish top of our group, which is really nice, uh, without losing a single match. Then... Well, you can see Kirka won already, so there you go. But we lost to Kartoffel on penalties. Of course we did. I could have seen us making it to, you know, the quarterfinals. That would have been nice. Uh, but no, we, we got knocked out in round of 32 yet again. Which is annoying. Like, uh, this probably shouldn't have happened. Oh, nice. No, I mean, we lost the first match 1-0. Second match, we uh, won one nil. Then it went to extra time. We scored an extra time. They scored an extra time. Bollocks are in G penalties again. That's two in a row, by the way. Also, it's three in a row for fighting hardcore away before we fight them at home in the league. Cheers. Also, we fought Kartoffel away first. Come on, devs. And they, what I don't get is they finished second in their group. Where is it? There it is. They finished second in their group. We finished first in our group. Surely does that, surely you should give the team that finishes first the home field advantage first, right? I mean, wouldn't that make sense? It would mean that everyone wants to fight for that first place instead of I'll settle for second. Putting yourself second should give you a disadvantage. I mean... Surely. Anyway, so Kirka went on to win. They beat the Prince 4-2. Uh, and they uh, what they uh, went on to win. This is a time when I was still using Julian Morrison. Uh, and I wasn't using uh, the guy I've got at the moment. So, not a good run in the European Cup. Good run in the National Cup. Decent run in the league. World Cup. How do we do? Let's find out. So, the World Cup. Yeah, this is, this is where Terra became, well, an absolute Terra. Um, they had teams that, well, Lolo M, for example, crushed them. Absolutely crushed them and just became an absolute monster of the game. FC Messi, a team that played really poorly, I believe, last season or the season before's World Cup. This season, they've, they've just come out of nowhere to do really well. Um... My team, well, we did pretty well ourselves. 37 points uh, out of a total, out of a possible 42. Uh, we have one loss to our name. That was Bardak 11. Uh, we did get our revenge on Kartoffel. They were in the same league as us. Uh, they finished fourth. We finished first. We did lose to Bardak, but then we thumped them in the rematch. Uh, but overall, 12 wins out of 14. Pretty good score. Anyway, so, yes, you saw Kirka won there. But we kicked off by beating Token Swim. <coughs> so Token Swim, they've got an amazing team. They have the best goalkeeper in the game. They have the mythical... Actually, no, he's not a goalkeeper. He's a striker, isn't he? Yeah, they got the best striker in the game in Charles Hartman. Look at that! Let's move this way. If I wanted to buy him... How much is he worth? Let's find out. Come on, open it up. 
how much is he worth? Show me how much he's worth. I don't have $53,000 right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the first ever, he's, he's got the first ever mythical player. And we stuffed him. Uh, we won 3 0 in the first match at home. And then away, we drew 1 1. So, good performance altogether. Then, quarterfinals. Who do we take on in our quarterfinals? Well, Kirker. Of course we got Kirker. Of course we had to get Kirker in the next round. But, you may be wondering. You may be thinking. Well, you don't seem that upset by getting Kirker. Well, that's because we beat them. That's why. So, we beat Kirker. We did. We actually defeated him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show this off just to prove that I'm not lying or anything like that. There we go. We beat them 2-1 at home. Look at those fans. 40 million fans there. Look at that. Lovely bit of fans there. We did go on to lose the second match, which you know is, is kind of frustrating. But, you know, they fully deserve to win. Uh, we lost 10 million fans there. So, really, a 30 million fan upgrade. And at this point, I think we had about 150 million fans. We got absolutely destroyed by hardcore and risking quick matches that we should have won and ended up losing. Um, we were initially down, I think, to about 136 million fans, which is a, a low for us in the last or like three years. This, that's a big low for the team. Um, but we, as you can see, been able to build ourselves back up with vi the victories over Token Swim, Oh, the victory of a token swim, the victory of a Kirka, you know, um, actually getting better results in quick matches and cut roll diamonds to the point that we are now the fourth best team in the game. Kirka again went on to beat the Prince to become champions. Uh, so I believe Kirka may, may have won the quadruple. I'm just going to double check here. Yeah, boy, they lost three matches all season. Now, I believe... Two of them were to AI teams. One of them was to us. So we are the only team this season, the only human team this season to beat Kirka. I will take that. So yeah, they won the European Cup. They won the World Cup. They won the Croatian League. Oh, wow. They actually didn't win the Croatia Cup. What the hell happened there? Part of me wants to know, but I probably won't ever find out. I think I think he drew and lost on penalties. I think if I remember if I remember correctly, with my chats on the Discord server. But anyway, guys, that that's what happened. So second in the league, second in the um, England Cup, round of 32 in the Euros, and set quarterfinals in the World Cup. I think we did okay, to be honest. Uh, could we have done better? Yes, we certainly could have had a much better European Cup, but we didn't. Now, this season, next season you could say, season 8. How do I think we're going to fare? What are my predictions? Well, this year we're going for all titles. First in the England A-League. First... In the National Cup, we want to win the domestic double. Uh, European Cup, I want to see semi-finals. If we don't see semi-finals, it's bad. No, I won't even take quarter-finals this time. Semi-finals or bust. Um, hopefully finals for maybe a battle with Kirka. Who knows? Because we can prove, we've proven we can beat any team now. We've beat Hardcore. We've beat Kirka. We've beat the Prince. You know, we beat Terrera. We've defeated every big... We beat Token Swim. We've beat Lolo M. We've beaten every single big team in the game. So we're now up to those ranks. So now it's time to get results for those ranks. Semi-finals would be nice. Thank you very much. World Cup. I'm going to say a quarterfinals would be lovely. So those are my predictions. Or, well, part of it's my hopes, I guess. First in the league, first in the uh, England Cup, 
uh, a semi-final spot in the Euros and a quarter-final spot in the World Cup. If that happens, this will be the most successful year for the team. Well, season. But we have the team for it this time. We have the team ready. It, it's done. It's finally ready. And now it's just going to be small little upgrades instead of big, massive upgrades. But anyway, guys, that is it from my Foot Battle Season 7 review. I've been Master of. Happy New Year. And I will see you for, well, more Global Trophy in a couple of days. The beginning of the real Global Trophy, the actual qualifiers of it. So, I will see you on Friday, folks. See you then.